Hello guys and welcome back again on Dapp World channel. We have installed some dependencies required to build the Dapp on Solana blockchain. Now we will set up a local development environment for Solana. Solana maintains several different clusters with different purposes. But wait, what is a cluster? A Solana cluster is a set of validators working together to serve the client transactions and maintain the integrity of the ledger. You can think it as the blockchain itself. Following are the list of clusters that Solana offers for different use cases. The first one is DevNet. If you want to test something on Solana, then you can perform actions on the DevNet. Anything created operated on DevNet will have no effect on Solana's main blockchain. Experimenting on DevNet will give you confidence for developing on Solana. You can build applications, become validator or token holder on DevNet. If you are already familiar with Ethereum, then you may think it as the public test networks, for example, Robston, RinkB, etc. You should know that the sold tokens on the DevNet are fake, that means they have no value in the real world. The second is Testnet. Testnet, as name suggests, it is a cluster for Solana developers to test the latest releases before deploying them on mainnet. If you are building applications, it's not recommended to use testnet as they are subjected to laser resets at any time. Then third one is mainnet itself. Mainnet is the main Solana cluster where you will find the real sold tokens and all the publicly deployed applications are deployed on the mainnet. And the last one is localhost. All the above discussed clusters are public ones and we are talking about setting up local test environment. Solana Cli allows us to run a local test validator, also where the cluster is limited to our system. Testing, debugging, deploying on local validator is very fast and convenient. Before going ahead, make sure you have performed all the installations, particularly Solana Cli is installed on your system. To get the current configuration of Solana, use the following command, Solana config get. This will output the configuration details of Solana. Now to change the configurations, you can do with this Solana config set dash dash URL localhost. Thus you can switch between localhost and devnet. Now let's talk about setting up accounts. The account keyword in Solana is very confusing. Like other blockchains, Solana do not store the states in the smart contract or programs. Instead, it stores the data in accounts. Here the accounts are the data accounts, whereas the accounts we are talking about is the wallet, which is public private key pair. So make sure you understand the relevance of this keyword. If you are little familiar with blockchain, you can understand how important is the wallet in developing or interacting with the applications on blockchain. It not only stores the crypto assets, but also used to sign or pay for the transactions. Now let's try to create a new account. So for this, we will be using Solana command line wallet for some time and later the browser based wallet phantom. To create a local wallet, you can use Solana keygen new. This will create a new wallet for us. Also when we have fetched the Solana configuration, you must have seen one parameter key pair path. This is where the wallet is stored in our system. This is file system type of wallet which means it will be stored permanently in the files. Now make sure you have generated a new wallet by entering the following command solana address which will output the public key of the wallet. Now let's fund this wallet. As we have discussed earlier, in order to interact with solana program or deploying it requires sold tokens to be paid. So let's get the test sold tokens in our account that we have just created. If you are on local net then run the solana test validator node on the different tab of the terminal. But if you are on the devnet, then you can get the test sold tokens with the following command. You just have to use solana airdrop then the amount of token and account address. Where you should replace the account address with your own public key which is obtained from the solana address command. Or even if you drop the account address, this will automatically add the test sold token in default address. Now let's check if the wallet is funded or not with solana balance which will output the balance of the account in Sol. So now we have set the local environment for the Solana development. In the next part, let's initialize the anchor project and understand its structure.